Hi, I'm Colette Dong from The Nest, and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today I'm gonna to take you through a 15 minute lower body workout that you can do in your socks. Let's get started. If you wanna level up a little bit, keep a mat by you and roll it up so it's nice and thick like a burrito. You will need socks and maybe a tile or a hardwood floor to slide around on. If you don't have it, you can use gliders on carpet. So you're gonna step on up, you're gonna put your left leg on the inside of your burrito, and I want you to stand up so that your right leg is lifted off the ground a little bit. Those hips are gonna be a little bit off kilter, so I want you to squeeze those low abs to even off those hips. Start with a baby squat, you're gonna pick that heel up and then step it forward for our warm up. Just send those hips all the way back. So your right heel is popped up, your Hips are going back, it's a bit narrow. I want you to squeeze and zip those inner thighs in. Again, option to take this on the ground at any point. This rolled up mat is gonna add a little bit extra instability, so it's gonna also work our core, our balance, and our coordination. You're never locked in, you could try it with the mat, and if it's not working, take it to the floor, or vice versa. Try a couple on each. Nice work, four more counts right here. Four, last three. Two more. And last one, sweep those arms all the way up. Ribs stay connected to the hips. Give me a little bit of a balance. You're gonna lift that leg off the ground and then set it all the way down. So just start to lift. I want you to softly bend that left knee and ground down into that burrito mat. Give me a little bit of a lift. We're just gonna work this balance and engage the core before we get started. Nice work. Just a light lift. If you're not quite feeling your balance today, you don't have to lift that toe off. You can do it for a quick two seconds and put it right back down. Four more counts, give me four. Last three, two more. And last one, I want you to pitch your hips backwards and torso comes forward. You're gonna start to slide your right leg back behind you. I want you to squeeze your right side butt cheek and then scoop your low abs in to slide this leg back in. All the while, you're pressing down through your left side heel as you give me this nice slide. You're staying up nice and high on that right side toe. Roll those shoulders back, exhale, slide it all the way in. So by sliding your foot on the ground, you're creating your own resistance here, working with the floor. I actually want you to think about pulling your left heel back even farther as you come in. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can really see. You're gonna take it all the way back and then scoop it in. Take it back. You're squeezing one long line between the top of your head and the back of that heel as you scoop all the way in. All right, keep that going. Checking with those shoulders, making sure that you're not hunching them up closer to those ears. Four more counts like this, give me four. Last three. Two more, you're gonna start to feel that left butt cheek, left hamstring really activating. And last one, you're gonna slide this down a little bit deeper. I want you to come to a full half circle. You're gonna stand it up. So this right leg now, it's gonna go all the way around and then you're gonna scoop those low abs in to squeeze. Beautiful, take your time. I want you to really challenge the depths of your range right here. Whew. Sweep it all the way around. As if that toe is a paintbrush, how wide can you get that half circle? as you sweep it into stand. This is gonna help us engage those inner thighs a little bit more as well. So we're working our left booty, left glute, left hamstring, whoo, left inner thigh and powerhouse just pulls right up and in as you go around in the circle. It helps a little bit, the mobility of that right hip, down and around, whoo. Beautiful work, give me three, two more, dip it low. And bring it up slow, last one. Let's put this together. You have two taps to the back, two. Not putting too much weight into that right toe and you're gonna, gonna dip and a squeeze around for two. Dip and a squeeze around for two, here we go. There's a lot of weight in that left foot, left heel. Try and relax those left toes, boom. Take it around, right leg is moving like it ain't no thing. She's floating away, press. Nice, if you want, you can start to add some arms into this so it's nice and full body. You drive those elbows back, boom. Take it up and around, dip, squeeze it in. Whew. Two more like this, boom. Ba. 
This is a nice alternative to lunges. Last one like this, boom. Hop, because you still get that hamstring and glute activation. Ha, ba ba, and you can really work on focusing up a little bit higher, drop this down all the way, and take it up. So when you do get to these lunges, your left side hip and glute are engaged. Oftentimes we put a little bit too much pressure in those knees on those lunges. When really that control is starting a little bit higher, you scoop through those abs and you squeeze these hips like there's a vice grip on them as you slide all the way up and in. Beautiful, if this lunge is a little too deep, you just take it back a little bit farther, but you are pitching that torso a little bit further and then you're gonna slide it up. This is a little bit different than our first lunge, our first tap back, excuse me, in the sense that you are lunging a little bit here and then sliding your way up. Our first move is pretty contained and that leg is just sliding back. Our second move is gonna drop down lower. You have a lot of life and then you press to come up. It's gonna require a lot more recruitment from those left side butt cheeks. Beautiful, try and get a little bit lower if you can. You got it. Two more. And last one, let's put that all together. So you have one set of taps. You're gonna go two circles, down around, squeeze it in. You're gonna drop it down in your lunge for two counts. Take it up for two, you get two of everything. Drop it down in that lunge. Whoo! How you doing? Whole thing, here we go. Tap it back, squeeze it in. Nice big circle, down, inner thigh, zip up and in. You got this. Breathe into those hamstrings like they're a second set of lungs. <sighs> Last set like this, take it out, in. Take it around for a two, boom. Squeeze, take it back, down for a two. Up for two, last one like this, down for two and up for two, shake it out, good work. You're gonna hit the other side, here we go, right away. Move it over, press your right heel into the mat. Again, coming up onto left toes, hips are gonna feel a little twisted. Let's drop it down, scoop those low abs in, find a nice pulse and stand it up. You're gonna pop that left heel up like you're wearing a high heel or a boot. Putting weight between the first and the second toe on that left side. Hips go back, we got this. Taking a nice easy breath. It's also a nice moment to stretch the bottom of that foot. You can come forward on those toes. It feels nice, good. Four more counts in four, three. Let's hit our balance, two and one. Just easy balance to get our core engaged before we start with these lunges. That helps us not over arch our spine when we get to that nice deep lunge. Drop those ribs down, exhale. Like it ain't no thing at the top. You hang out there on top of your mat burrito, whoo, good. Again, I say again, option to come off of this mat if you don't want that extra balance challenge or coordination today, it's okay. Yeah, balance is dynamic, it changes every day. You gotta flow with it, listen to your body, see what you're willing to take on. Two more. And last one, let's move into our first move. Come down nice and low. You're gonna send that leg back and take it in. Left leg's coming back, torso is pitched forward, a hair, shoulders are rolled back. I'm gonna give you that side view again. Keep that left leg going back and you're gonna scoop those low abs in as you send that leg. Leg is isolated from your supporting side leg. You're drilling down through your right heel and staying nice and low. That way we activate that hamstring and that right side glute. Beautiful, beautiful. Take that easy breath, slide it back, squeeze it in. Whew. Eight more counts in eight, seven, four more. We're gonna go with our around the world in three, in two, and one. You're gonna dip it back, come all the way to the side, squeeze it up and in. Try that again. Dip it back, boom, slow, slow, slow. Almost like there's a rubber band here and it's squeezing you back in. Boom, boom, ha. Nice, like you're pulling taffy. Whoop. Two more like this. And last one, take it down to the side, put those two together. You have two to the back, here we go. Two. 
boom. Around the world, down around. Squeeze, you have a light stand on that around the world. Take it forward, you can start to add the arms if you're ready. Take it down and around, find that easy scoop. Whew. Here we go, drive those elbows, boom. Take it in. Nice big exhale as you drop, feel the weight of that pelvis coming all the way down. You got it. Ha. Nice work, give me two more, two more. Ha. Take it in. Drop it low and remember really tracing those edges with those toes. See how big you can get with that range. Drop it down, boom, take it around. Full range lunge, take it all the way back for two. Now we're moving a little bit more on this right side leg. I want you to squeeze your right side butt cheek and your right side hamstring to come back up. You have a lot of weight in your right heel. Give me that nice slide. That way our right knee tracks right over that toe. You squeeze and lift it up. Beautiful, that's it. Whoo, that sweet burn. Take it up and in. A lot of life behind that left kneecap. Presses up, that leg is straight. That torso is coming. You're stretching as long as you can from tailbone to heel. Two more. And last one right here. Put it all together. Here we go. Two to the back. Send it back for two. Around in a circle, boom, da da. Down for two, up for two. Here we go, ba. And squeeze, that's it. Try and stand straight up and not leaning over to hobble your way up, yeah? We wanna pretend like we're an elevator. You're going straight down, straight up. Squeeze it in, circle it. This is your moment. Straight down with confidence, you stand it up. Do it again, straight down. Stand it all the way up. Two more sets, here we go. Up, legs should be on fire, awake and alive. Take it down for two, up for two. Do that again, down for two. Last one right here, here we go. Up, down around, boom, da da. Sweep, take it down, line that long reach. Nice work, y'all. Good, shake it out. You're gonna find a nice, easy squat on either side of your burrito. So now I want your inner legs and thighs to be on the line with the burrito. You're gonna send those hips back for two, and you're gonna stand it all the way up. Beautiful work, back for two. Stand it all the way up. Working with your own squat range. Yeah, I want those heels to stay down on the ground. Knees are right underneath those hips. And as you squat, I want you to Pretend that there's a towel in between those legs and you're pulling it to the side. That way we really get that booty activation as you come out and squeeze. Nice, beautiful. Ah, you got it, three more. Three, two, little balance to finish. Last one, pick that right leg up for two. You're gonna step onto your burrito, take it all the way up, press it down. Lift that right leg, find your squat, do that again. Lift it up, tiny step and instability. Woo, try and keep those hips nice and even. As you go, whee! <sighs> Relax those shoulders down. Legs should be shaking into this finale. Last one like this, you're gonna hit your left side. Take it up and press. Other side, take it down. Lift that left, step on that mat. Scoop your right, take it down, lift it up, boom. Really feeling that mat under those feet. Press, it helps to strengthen your foot and lower limb as well, providing that extra instability that sneakers do support with sometimes. Strengthen those ankles, good, and all those smaller muscles in your feet. Two more counts. You have one more, step it up. Press it. Beautiful work, y'all. You're gonna roll your chin into your chest and just touch your hands down on the mat. Sweep your right leg behind your left and hang over your legs. Just stretching the back of your legs. Opening up those hamstrings. Quick cool down, take it around. Sweep your leg to the other side. 
sitting back into your heel. Your left leg is behind your right. Sweep it back so that you're on either side of the mat. Roll it all the way in. Nice, easy breath. Last one right here. And you are done. Again, I'm Colette Dong from The Nest. Thank you so much for joining me for that 15 minute lower body workout. Like and subscribe for more sweaty content. We'll see you on Good Moves soon. Thank you.